All right, so here we are. We're going to do uh, a quick constraint. Super short, easy. What up, guys? I've got this script um, that um, needs a primary key in table one. All right, so that's easy enough. Remember, with primary keys, uh, we always put them at the bottom. They should always relate to a column that already exists. So the syntax for a primary key, pretty straightforward. Got to add a constraint. Constraint. Oops. Constraint. And then we give it a name. Um, in this case, I'm going to name it after the column I'm going to put it in. So I'm going to call it one table ID underscore PK. It's very important. That's the name that I'm going to call my constraint. Then I'm going to say, what is my constraint? My constraint is going to be a primary. It's going to be a primary key. And then it's going to relate to, put this in parentheses, relate to the column one table ID. So there it is. I say it's a constraint. This constraint has a name of the column underscore PK. The kind of constraint it is in this case is a primary key. And uh, it's going to relate to one table in parentheses. That's it. I can check it by going control C and dropping it into my SQL. I can see there are no errors showing up. And when I hit go, it creates my new database with those tables. That's it. Super simple and easy.